Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you this is a 1991 Princeton Teledyne or Teledyne Princeton. This is a Moffat. So this is a forklift that hangs on the back of like a delivery trailer that Lowe's, Home Depot, other wood suppliers, manufacturers use. Um, this belongs to an actual friend of ours, customer of ours, become a really good friend of ours. Um, he needed a short trailer that he could haul barrier in different, he sells a lot of concrete block and stuff, and he wanted a nice short trailer for doing that. He bought this with the trailer and has decided to sell this because he doesn't use it. It is not a new unit, okay? It starts, it runs, it works good. The drive function is good. The engine is extremely strong. The lift cylinder, and that is a double acting cylinder on this forklift, so it has pressure up and pressure down. Uh, obviously because it would hoist itself up onto the trailer and lock itself in place. Uh, there is some dampness on the cylinder. The tilt cylinders, after a while, they will tilt out a little bit. This is a very cheap forklift. If you had no forklift at all, you couldn't buy much of any kind of forklift that would go out in the rough terrain at all for what we're asking for this unit, okay? Actually has good rubber on it. Um, we did have it in, checked all the oils. It was a little low on hydraulic. We topped that off. We didn't service anything. It is just sold the way it is. Uh, and we're just being honest and showing everybody about it. We're going to start it, run it. Should everything works? Matt, let's walk them around real quick. Um, the two clevises actually go back to him. They, he used them to chain it down. Uh, but it does start running work good. This is a three cylinder. I do believe these are a, uh, and I got to research it, but I believe that's a Lester, a Lester Peter diesel or a Lombardini diesel. Uh, they're a three cylinder air cooled engine starts. Excellent. Fires right up. Uh, really runs good. Uh, we didn't wash it. We didn't clean anything up right here is your specs. It's a D 5,000, um, unit max gross weight, 9760. Um, Let's see something here. It is a 5,000 pound lift on a 24 inch load center uh, at 120 inch height. Okay. So a lot of times we're using these to lift packs of lumber, different things. Someone had put two new cylinders for the telescope. So this carriage will transverse out and then lift up, which we'll show you about that in a second. Tires are actually really, really good all the way around. It does have rear lights on it. So if you piggyback it on a trailer, you plug in right there and you have rear lights. Seats in good shape. Does have those little outriggers or stabilizers when you have a load clear out. Uh, if you're going to set it down, you can set them on those. There is some wear in the track. Um, mast is decent. Matt will show them up on the other side there. Does have an extra valve here for side shift. It does not have side shift. Shows 200 some hours. It's not even relevant. Um, it starts, it runs, steering's good. Um, so we're going to start it here, run it around, show it does everything it's supposed to do. Here we go. I do believe those are 42 inch forks. I'll measure them and have that for you. So there's max lift height. And you can see that that carriage is going to transverse out. And then you see the little outriggers down there. If you would have a load on, uh, that's how you're going to stabilize yourself. Pull your carriage back in. Again, this does have a double acting cylinder on the left. So it is hydrostatic drive. You can see it will cut pretty close corner.
that kind of gives you an idea. Guys, that's about it. It's nothing fancy. As uh, far as the throttle, you basically just pull up on it, shuts it off. Um, there is wear in that mast. Uh, again, we're being honest with you. For what he's asking for, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's a cheap forklift. If you have no forklift and you can't afford a ten or twenty thousand dollar forklift, and you want something cheap, this is a very good cheap machine for around your yard. If you if you are lifting just some random stuff and you need a cheap lift that will go out on the stone where a little narrow tire forklift will not, this is something to work for you. Get you out of a pinch. If you have nothing. It is a great machine, but don't expect it to be new. We've showed you there's play in that. Um, it's just an old machine. If you've got any questions, 814-658-3066. As always, thank you very much for checking out.